I was already playing a game by a little fox that solves puzzles, and then they emailed me and they're like, hey, we gotta solve. <laughs> we gotta solve. We got a fox that solves puzzles. I'm like, send him on over. There's the fixed fox. Honestly, like, 80% of the reason is because this is just the. This is so fucking cute. <laughs> Alright. Oop. He might not actually solve puzzles, he might just fix things. It might take the form of puzzles. Well, that was a lot. <laughs> Ego loaded. Vix. History space. Cerebral navig- what is happening? What? Explore the lesson. What is happening? In the past, people used to look like this. Look how bouncy they are. Why were they so bouncy? That's the real takeaway. They look like foxes now? Is that the takeaway? Oh no, the diagonal's not quite. Later, some got spliced with animal genes because it was cool. <laughs> Fair. Alright. It's the Batman Beyond universe. But then Earth's climate changed. Did it become hostile to the humans? The humans did that. So everyone got spliced because it was cold. World building. Animal fur keeps humans warm now. Are they humans? Oh, I guess they're hum They're calling them humans with fur, I guess. But they also inherited the ability to hibernate from animals. Oh. Now, <laughs> we can dare to delve far into the depths of space. Sleeping. Like cryo, but... S Wait. <laughs> Hibernation as a, as a spacefaring like evolution i don't think i've heard of that idea before that's new to me that's the job of a spacer a specially trained space mechanic oh that was a little abrupt explore distant planets sponsored message oh this is the ad fix ancient machines discover adventure with the weird ipad face lady eat Delicious meals. Space Pioneer. Astronic Astronics Circuits Repair. Astro Astronics? Yeah, yeah, this is what it says. Earth Orbit Dock. I didn't know what I was getting myself into, but it instantly was not what I thought I was getting myself into. <laughs> Look at those nebulas in the background. Or space dock pollution, I don't know. Hey, Vix. Wake up, you lazy fox. Are you playing old dream tapes from the trash again? One day, that crappy old dream player will fry your brain. Let's see. And doop. There we go. Oops, I had to fix something. Let's run a quick test to see if your brain still works. Which hand do you usually use to poke stuff? Right hand? C correct, next question. What pronoun do people use when talking about you? E. Correct, your brain seems intact for now. If you change your mind about any of it, you can always update it in the settings. So. This ship's a mess. Let's clean up. Are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> I'm done charging. Can you pick me up, please? Top down. All right. It's a cooking unit. Hammer. Ah. Don't tell me you were using these expensive high-tier tools as cooking utensils again. Ooh. I have been naughty. I don't feel so good, says Fridgebert. 
that's what you get for trying to keep it cool all the time. A precious collection of ancient junk. I mean, souvenirs. It looks rather like a collection of bacteria and potential skin diseases to me. Why is there a sound? Why do you keep a sandwich in your bedside chest as an emergency late night ration? Manuals and cookbooks. Why? You can't cook. You just drool over food pictures. Using an apple as a bookend? Typical. You're very judgy. Oh, there you are. Haha, <laughs> it's me, Tin, your companion safety expert, and also a tool bag. <laughs> Don't you dare put any dangerous and or sharp objects inside me again. The ship needs a new paint job, and it would be nice to afford a dock that's not a dump. In other words, we need a job, but first, he's got a little loading bar. Fix the fridge. The other spacers call you the Fix Fox, not because you can fix things, but because you can. They're making fun of you. <laughs> Let's show them you're a real spacer and get your own stuff in order. I've added to your jobs list so you won't forget again. Press tab. Look at my, look at my dumb little finger. <laughs> kind of wish it didn't end on just like a horizontal line though. Oh. That's all of his talking he's been doing. Eh. Alright, so we're supposed to fix the fridge. Get all of our stuff if we can. Nope. Comms doesn't have any interaction. We have nowhere to go. You have to get me some coordinates. Like at the store. Pick up some milk wire at it. Is this what you used to unclog the shower drain? Banana. That's what you keep in a toolbox. Your definition of tool is clearly very bizarre. It's cryo. That's where I go. That's the me box. Right, you. Enter it. Fridge. Let's let's clean up this fridge. Uh, sorry, my back panel is stuck. Could it be because of that sauce explosion that last week, Vix? What now? Let's use something with a flat blade to pry it open. The banana. Uh, see your tools here? Check out their properties to find the right tool. Hey, it's probably the flathead. But it's smarter to set a filter up there to find the right flat thing easily. Whoop. Flat filter. Eh? Eh. It's the flathead. Ha! A screwdriver. If you manage to find it in this messy ship of yours, you try using it to pry open the fridge panel. Strengthened blade and extra grip handle. With this beauty, you could dismantle a whole flotilla and put it back together again. You in a general sense, of course, not you personally. Dismantling interstellar ships is a humongous task. We've apparently established that you can't clean things. How do I get it, though? Hello, Apple. Got one of these guy. Got one of these guys. Tire one of them guys. Whole lot of guys. Uh, E4 fructose and round. That's the categorization. Heavy. Tape. Flat. E4 potassium fructose yellow sandwich. Okay, so. Okay, oh, you slot you slimed up. Oh, my backside is exposed. Sorry for the inconvenience. Vix will be it will get you in shape right away. I don't feel so good. Mr. Stark. Machine innards, it's disgusting. I can't look. Oh, I'm gonna need the flathead. That tool bag is a right click. There you go. Boop. Boop boop boop. Alright. Unequip his Q, open up at the hi. Ha! See those wires? Definitely the nasty work of space mice. I know you don't believe in space mice, but those dreadful critters can munch through a hole like nothing. Then suddenly you're flying Swiss cheese. Let's inspect it closer. I 
Ouch. Are you touching live wires? For real? Shouldn't you switch the power off, maybe? Yeah, but I thought it was funny, because it said ouch. Harp, that's always a good sign. We need tape. Bit of tape could do the trick. In case you forgot, all your fixed jobs are logged here on the jobs tab. That's why Fridgebert's lovely face is here. After inspecting each problem, the new requirement is noted here on the right side. See the word tape? Find out which tools match the requirement. Just tap that word tape. Eh. Tape is the tape. Bingo, we have a match. Now let's find that tape and get this fixed job over with. I don't know why I landed on this voice. <laughs> I have no idea. It's a mystery for everyone. I did it. It's art. I'm art. Hello, Dart, I'm dead. Ah, that's better. I'm cool now. Thanks, pal. Time for breakfast. Huh? Here's your pudding. Got pudding. Even though it breaks at least seven health. <laughs> oh, wait, I just stopped at health and was like, what are you saying to me? Even though it breaks at least seven in health and safety regulations, yes, you can eat it on your bed. Why would I not be able to eat it on my Why would I not be able to eat on your bed? Do I understand how to use spoons? Oh, oh, that's the kind of pudding it is. Consume. Please have some decency and don't hog it all up at once. Eh. Wait. Pudding is beyond expiration date by two days. It's probably spoiled. This could be... There could be space germs. Stop eating. Stop, or I'll blow the pudding out of the airlock. You think space germs are a joke? Stop eating now. No. Space germs. Oh, I'm getting FTL'd. Oh, this is worse than space germs. Oh no, activating bubble field. There. This should provide you with air. Get in the suit, quick! <laughs> this is a bad time. What? What? Oh, oh, it's a little astronaut suit. That's the head on top. It's hard to like parse it first from that angle. Activating airlock field. This voice keeps like wandering. I've lost like where it was earlier. <laughs> Are you okay, Vix? I I'm sorry, I just wanted to keep you safe. Thought I detected some space germs. I panicked and purged the ship. You think I'm overprotective? You think I'm overprotective for a tool bag, but deep down, I'm still the old school bag programmed to protect its kid owner. I was made to predict every danger that could possibly happen to you. In my mind, I see simulations of you getting hurt. I see you die a thousand horrible deaths every minute, every day. I was made that way, I can't help it. It's hard for me to keep you safe, but also to let you live your own way. Huh? What's that? Who's calling at this hour? This is the voice. This is a voice that would say "Tunnel Snakes Rule." Haha! <laughs> 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 I hate to interrupt your decompression merry time. Are you salty scallops? All right. <laughs> the spacer boss has a talent for calling at the least appropriate moment, Vix. Haha! <laughs> The duck deck operations said the CCTV recording of your free space pudding dance has gone viral already. Let me guess. Tin has panic purged your ship again. Ha ha! Vix, your performance stats suck worse than uh, the thirsty sea slug. Maybe you have a jinx, but more things get broken than fixed on your jobs. You know why I'm calling? My management subroutines scream at me to fire you from st Spacer immediately. I'm sorry to say this, but pack your stuff and get ready to get out. Oh no. 
because I got a J-O-B for you. My coat is getting old and soft. I'm giving you one last chance. Phew, that was close. Ever heard of the planet Caramel? Yeah, I didn't think you would. There's a nav beacon that's got sil gone silent and probably needs to be fixed. The thing is, it was built a few centuries ago. No one here understands the tech from that period anymore. I've asked around. They told me that from all the retro tech nerds, there's only one that I should get. It's you, Vix. Yeah, the maniac spends his free time digging through mountains of trash, searching for ancient gadgets. I'll send you the contract. You just need to sign it. Take your time. It's just your last chance before you lose your hopes and dreams or something. Salty sea brims, you've already signed it? That was quick. Vix, you haven't even read the contract conditions. That beacon is beyond the outskirts of the outmost outer rim. So many outs. I've seen scary, I've heard scary stories about those regions. There's no running water, no medical services, and above all, no strawberry scented band aids. And think of all the other risks hole breaches, cosmic fever, and countless space germs gonna be dangerous and unhygienic and I won't be able to keep you safe. I don't approve. Here's your launch checklist. You should help, uh, should help you get your ship ready for the journey. Hmm. Let's start with the checklist. Give me a thing to fix. Besides using a screwdriver on a screw. What if I went out the door again? Wouldn't that be fun? What? It's stu is it stuck again? A few gentle taps should loosen it up. Gently tap door to close it. With the hammer. Gentle. This, that feels nice. Can you try a little lower? Why is so much of my ship alive? <laughs> that was, I started to get really self-conscious and weirded out of it at some point. Yes, that's where the problem is. Now put some strength into it. Vix, I said a gentle tap. Do you want to breach the hull? That felt great! Just what I needed for my cramped servos, thank you. Whatever, next time item on the checklist. St store perishables safely. Just make sure all the food is stashed away in the fridge. You always store food in the weirdest nooks and crannies. Make sure to search the ship thoroughly. All your foods are belong to us, original reference. Alright, well I know what to do here. Food. Thanks, I will keep it safe. Keep it coming. I think just one perishable item remains. That's not a lot of food for a ship. And that's everything. Good job. I have supplies for one day. We're ready to go to the Outer Rim. Okay, check. Let's move on. It says secure all items. Just dump my contents into the toolbox. I hate traveling on a full stomach. Oh, look at him. You live there now. Feel much lighter. I'm almost empty, just one more thing. Okay, all items stored. Let's move to the last point on the checklist. It says, put all devices in travel mode. Can you plug me back into the charger, please? Yes. Humphy. Now just hop into the cryopod. This is where I go to maybe die. Every time I go in this, I might not wake up again. Wee. Cryo would be terrifying. Did we really inherit uh, hibernating if we use cryopods? Switching to low power mode. This job will be dangerous and I don't approve of it, but I know how much being a spacer means to you, so I'll do my best to support you. I'll ping Navico when you're ready. Aha! Hold on, I'm sending the in tugboats to pull you into the jump gate. So is he just gonna- he seems old. If I'm going into cryo, will he just be dead when I arrive? Kind of like space... What, what kind of like time durations go on here? If they send in a request, but I have to hibernate to get there, doesn't that suggest that it's an incredibly long time before they actually receive the result for that request? Hopefully... It's like by nature that can't be asking for any me to fix anything that's especially important. Because they'll die. Affected neatly, everyone? 
Shush. They must not know what they're that we're coming along. Do you think they'd freak out if they knew that four celebrity AIs have snuck aboard? No worries. We are on a private channel. Aha! Being a stowaway on one of my own ships feels funny. Right. Um. Vix, Tin, hold tight, you two. We're firing up the jump gate. This is the real reason we're, that this mission is happening. <coughs> Not because we're so good at this job and we're going to totally fix something, but because they need a taxi. Good night and sweet dreams, Vix. See you on the other side. Cray for me. That's a lot of caramel. Ah! You're probably fine. You fly in a square. Vix, are you okay? Our navs went nuts in the static storm up there. We had to find an emergency landing spot. First, let's find the beacon base. It shouldn't be far. Pick me up and let's get to work. All right, gameplay start, please. Look at the weird squiggly plants out there. There was no storm mentioned in our briefing. I'm calling Navico right now to sort things out. Oh, that's a familiar sound. What if I played where that was the where that was the negative sound when you something fails? Must be from a library, I guess. Drat. I can't get the signal through. It's all that static interference around this planet. No wonder the local beacon's out of order. Not even a single bit of data gets out. Everything gets scrambled on the static. As soon as Navico uh, notices we're off the grid, he'll probably send someone to rescue us. Let's wait inside the ship for rescue. Nice and safe, okay? How long was I in hibernation, though? How long are we waiting? According to my calculations, it shouldn't take more than... 96 years. I... Okay. Distressing question answered. Okay, so let's get my suit. Oh, let's get my tools, actually. Wait, I need to tell you something before you open the toolbox. During the emergency landing, the ship was too heavy and I had to drop something. I wanted to dump the food, but then I remembered how grumpy you get when you're hungry. So I dumped all the tools instead. The toolbox is empty. What? You can't eat tools. It was the safest option. I think I need tools to survive in this situation. Let's get banana, apple, sandwich. All right. Use it wisely. I'm not sure there'll be a lot of dining options around. I'm going to die here. I was sent here to die, maybe. This only works in zero gravity. All right, so we're not using that then. Sorry, sweets. It seems I'm stuck again. The crash landing was a bit too much for the, my old servos. Don't try to find any other way out of the ship. It's safer inside. Why don't you relax and take a shower or something? Where is the shower? I feel like I can see the whole ship already. Let me out of here. Dock panel? Docking only works in zero gravity, sorry. So these are all little mechanics you can use in, at other times. Where is the shower, comms? Hydge pod? I guess that's the shower. What? You're asking me if the waste chute is wide enough for a human to pass through? Hmm. For some inexplicable reason it is. What? Yes, I could redirect the waste chute from the internal recycling circuit to the external outlet. Are you planning to... Ew. I know the door is stuck, but stepping out of the surface on an unknown planet through a toilet chute is morally wrong. Thanks to disinfection fluids on the chute, at least it's a sanitary way. Okay, I'm rewriting the way chute now. Done. Enjoy your ride. You have a little helmet on! One small flush for a toilet, one but a giant leap towards finishing this job. Bon voyage. 
He put a little helmet on so that he could go out the, the, the toilet. Oh, he doesn't seem to be wearing it anymore. I think it's clogged then. Get off that dirty ground, there could be alien germs! There's alien germ- there's germs every particle of everywhere, basically. It's just- you're gonna have to just accept that. Since you're already contaminated with alien germs now, let's look around. Alright. Intro's a little long. Hey look, it's our hammer. It is. I must have landed there when I dumped the tools. Wait, are those... robots? Gonna take my hammer. It's a tablet-faced man. Is one of them gonna be a ferret? Observe. Most curious. Could it be... one of the maker's tools? Affirmative. It matches the profile. Wait. I think there's a witness over there. Hey, soup pot. Are you talking to me, sir? Explain the origins of this object, would you be so kind? Uh, I don't know, I, I guess it just fell from the sky? I was minding my own business here, and then suddenly there was a big crash and lots of smoke everywhere. Probably another volcano going off. The suspected object must be secured and analyzed immediately, calling in the extractor. Quit messing up my business, don't you dare go bringing in that big noisy... What is it? We're getting a lot of world building here. <laughs> There's a lot happening here. Halt, this is the extractor, the order of tools vessel. Two fields agents are requesting object extraction and boarding, if you could oblige. Affirmative, extracting. What is happening? Ma'am, I'm here to fix like a toaster or something. Object secured, proceed with boarding. Please give my hammer back. I'm so fired. But it'll take about a hundred years to get fired, so... eh? Region will be closely monitored for any device tampering or tool-related activities. Have a nice day. So that's distressing. I went on one jump and it's already been long enough that everybody I've ever known is probably dead. Looks like the Beacon Keeper created some bots to keep them company. But they didn't seem like some someone I'd invite to a party. If you ever need to run, just hold left shift. Just a normal transition. <laughs> Find Merrill's Kodak number at the back of the journal. Oh. Suspicious crack. Hands off! What if there's a space centipede? Then I'll have a lot of legs on my arm. And poison in my arm, probably. That's the fun part. If you need items or rumors, I'm, then I'm always here for you, except now. Be right back. That's a sign. Hello. Pirate wave? Pirate alert reset. Ten stashes remain. New listeners, ten more stash loot reports and we're on to you. And we're, and we're on to you. Huh? Business news. Stickers are still in high demand among pirates. What? Okay. You're extremely glowy. Oh my god, the glittering. Hey there! Uh, you're new here, right? Uh, welcome to Salty Desert. I'm Flavio. Where did all that smoke come from? Is it one of the old volcanoes again? I turned my back for a minute to prepare the soup. Oh no, my cooker! It's busted, what should I do? My insides feel... weird. Why are all of the... <laughs> every device talks? Hmm. This should be an easy job. Maybe we'll get some clues about the be about the beacon base. How do I fix your insights? Eh. It's turned off. Uh, something with a flat edge could work. You can't fix anything without your tools anyway. It's not like any usable instruments are just lying around, right? Sorry to interrupt, but local pirates collect various junk items. They hide them in rock cracks and other weird places. You can ask the trader down there. They might help you. Hmm, a good tip. So is the person down there, there now? Yes. Welcome to my humble shop. If you have any items you don't need, I can trade them for something more useful. And do you know what items are useful in local stashes? I can tell you. 
Here in Salty Desert, the stash is usually stuffed with Band-Aid. <laughs> they are usually stacked with Band-Aid. Coin, metal scrap, spatula, or postage stamp. Well, I definitely need a spatula then, or coin. The coin is the go-to adventure game thing to open thing. What's your deal? Welcome to my humble shop. Oh, same dialogue as before. Hmm, maybe we could borrow a thing or two from those stashes they mentioned. Let's look around. There's a weird hole right there. I can't reach the weird hole. Help me. Got coin. Hold on, stranger. You have just obtained an item that is shrouded in mystery. Bring it to me and I will reveal its secrets. Another weirdo? Are there any sensible bots on this, on this planet? Is everybody so interested in me? There's a stand, there's a stand storm. There's a sandstorm raging out in the open. Let's stay here for a bit. There are unexpected collisions happening, where things are not as open as they seem at first glance. Right, running. Back to this weird hole I found. Coin. I already, already had one of those. Eight stashes before pirates arrive. It's just like something happens if you if you get too many items. You get you get in trubs. Is it, are they grayed out because I need to identify them all still? Even the sandwich? Welcome to the shop of mystical wisdom. If you have any items of mystery, I can identify their mystical properties. I can also share some insider info about local job rewards. Here in Salty Desert, the popular rewards are cookie, donut, feather duster, empty cartridge, fridge magnet, chili pepper, or toothbrush. Uh, identify items? Oh, mighty powers, grant me your unknowable wisdom. Coin. T1 flat. Metal. Round. Hmm. Seems like the coin could be actually be useful. I oh, really figured out that mystery I could have never figured out otherwise. Who could have guessed? Oh, you just have to use a key. Okay. That's why they're all grayed out, because they're just completely invalid. Time to use a, a coin like in every adventure game. Whenever there's a lot whenever there's a switch in the way, it's always like, alright, well let's wait for the moment where they give me a quarter. I said I say switch, I meant uh a screw. Lemon orange potato. Fruit logic. Don't fiddle with it. What if you set a wrong combination? It blows up. So only have fruits be lit up. The cooker is working again. Wait, here, take this. It's a meal ticket. You can exchange it for a meal anywhere in our region. I recommend my soup, of course. But how did you? You don't. You don't look like those nerds from the Order of Tools. That weird bunch lives burrowed in the secret temple, bossing everyone around. Whatever. You, whatever you've done with my cooker, better keep it a secret from them. The order says that bringing broken devices back to life is a blasphemy against their maker or something. I hate to interrupt, but the soup is ready. You heard the guy. Don't keep him waiting. Get your meal ticket ready. All right. Here's your ticket. Pumpkin soup with cream and spices. <laughs> We just fix things and then feed the fox. This soup is a specialty of the salty desert region. You look kind of new here. Let me explain. The meal secret rule. When a bot shares a meal, they must also share a secret during the conversation. So you should listen carefully when stuffing your face. What? A, a beacon base? Never heard of that. Aside from that, I heard that the key is under the red barrel behind the garage, but never mind. There are plenty of nice places to visit around here. 
So, take your time and enjoy the scenery. Just be careful to avoid the pirates and nerds from the order. Oh, and there's one more rule. You must always finish your meal. So if it's too big, I guess you're just gonna die. Ha! <laughs> Vix, it's typical of you to gobble up the first food you find on an alien planet without thinking about space germs. Did you- did it help you get a clue about where to look next? It did. Oh, you didn't pay attention to what that- what he said during the meal, right? The secret and all? Just press tab and just, yeah, I paid attention. How, how dare you? I have nothing else to do but pay attention. Garage key. No more keys, huh? I, do I need more keys? Are you not satisfied with first key? Ooh, that was weird looking. Hello. Ooh. I'm doing crimes, I think. Uh. I get the sense something is wrong. But I have two coins. Potassium catalyst placed here. <gasps> I have potassium catalyst. Wow. Look at me go. I'm out of tape. Can I put a coin here? I wonder if this could use tape. But where do we get something even remotely similar to tape here? We're open! Come and trade your currently owned items for different items of equal value. It's a bargain! Perhaps we could drop by that trader's shop and see if they have something useful in store. That's exactly what we we're going to do. And then I'm just gonna peace out of here, I guess, and never talk to any of these people ever again. What should we trade? Don't be afraid to swap any item. You can always trade it back. I, I guess I'll trade money. Novel idea. Definitely a band-aid. Strawberry band-aid. You said there wouldn't be any strawberry scented band-aids. How dare you? You lied to me, Tin. Here you go. A band-aid. I doubt that'd be useful, but maybe that crazy oracle could find some value. Oh, do I have to check it? Dead by items. It's tape. Yep. That's why I nabbed it. Ta-da! Four fixes before the order arrives. I feel so good, I want to ride like a breeze. Halt! Uh... Reports of blasphemy by device tampering were received, extracting unapproved tools. Rut row. That's so there's a countdown where if you find X number of stashes, the the pirates come after you, and if you fix X number of things, then the order comes after you. It's, this game's nuts. There's just some stuff going on here. I'm, cu I'm curious how it works in the long term. How are they gonna get him? Oh. What? It's a coin! Okay. Bye. That's oh, an apple! You took the apple, but not the sandwich. Okay. The shadows of the ground render uh, on top of the ship, which is... Or are those, are those clouds? No, those, no, those are shadows on the ground, because you can see them on the, being on the specific side of the rocks. Please accept this order of tools information brochure and study it carefully. Device tampering is not tolerated. Stay safe. Everyone just has to be sad and live on a rock. The end. Ew, that was close. Those nerds from the Order of Tools have their eyes everywhere when it comes to poking inside devices. Last time they took all of my spoons. I always check their broadcasts on my radio. It helps to keep them at bay for a while. How do these mechanics work? This stuff's weird. Every region has its own type of ticket. Metacorps, short for Metacorporations, are a group of powerful AIs helping humanity, each managing a specific aspect of human life. The four of them are Navico, Medico, Nutrico, and Lexico. 
So navigation, medical, nutrition, and lexicon. The order of tools left this after their heist. Looks like it has information about them inside. How do read? There it is. Greetings. This is the Order of Tools information brochure. Please study it carefully when convenient. The Order of Tools is one true is the one true group assembled to honor and maintain the ancient legacy of the legendary maker. Our ultimate purpose is to oversee that the legacy instructions are obeyed. 1. All objects in his tools must be kept secure. 2. Any form of device tampering is prohibited. Violations of these rules will be monitored and closely inspected by our field squad. Stay safe. But speeder work now? Look, the speeder has a map system. Let's check it out. With the M. It's a map. Surprise. The flash You are here. Yeah. Hmm. So there's some coordinates in the memory cache. It's a bit further away. Let's zoom out of the map. We need to see the whole region. Z. There it is. I'm putting it on the map. Oh, the question mark. I'm not sure if it's the beacon base, but it's the only clue we have. Let's go! Oh. Is it getting dark already? It'd be safer to set out in the morning. If you want to set up a camp, there's a bedroll in the scooter trunk. Be careful. I'm sure it's crawling with space bed bugs. It seems like it might be the extremely on-hands tutorial that leads up to, like, eventually the game being more of, like, a mechanics-based thing? Like, it has a day-night cycle, too. And apparently, like, two different rolling timers based on how much you do certain actions that might be a thing you have to, like, manage. Which sounds interesting. Um... I get confused... Wait... Oh, it's here. I thought I had to get it... outside. Why would I- why do I want to specifically sleep outside? You have to have just enough space, I guess? Here's my little camp. Hope you don't mind fire, oracle person that just sits there, apparently. Yeah, I don't think I can cook anything. There's a lamp. Stop putting lampposts in my games. Rest well. And sweet dreams. Thought I was safe to take one drink of water and then dialogue. <laughs> Good morning. Hope you slept well. It's still very early, but the sun will rise soon. A surprisingly peaceful morning on such a hostile planet. But... Where's the speeder? It looks like that crazy thing just drove off on its own while you were sleeping. Luckily, there was a homing beeper thing in its trunk, right? I saw you snatch it secretly before. I'm just gonna retcon that. Let's try calling the speeder back. Press 1 and see what happens. Hi, it was boring here, so I took a little jog to get a bit, and I got a bit sidetracked. Can we go now? We'd be on our way already if we weren't messing around. Hey. The sandstorm is gone. Let's find that beacon base. Yeah, let's go. This is like Disco Elysium, except it's all of your devices are all have personalities and never stop talking. <laughs> yeah, let's pack it up. <laughs> Zip, I'm out. Ooh. Getting a glimpse of the world now. That's some good music. The whistling. Spatula is a big deal. I could use that. So you gather things that can use based on categories so that you can try to do anything. 
Or spatula. But then periodically you lose everything in your inventory on a reset timer. Timer being like how many things you fixed. That's a lot of... I got... I just got a lot of categories of thing. I'm probably in a good spot. Oh, that's a... that's not a... that's not a landing pad or anything. Or a ramp. That is a... probably a whole ass building since I can't go over it. This must be the beacon base. No one has been here for centuries. The structure may be unstable. Be careful. I'm going to fall into th something and die. That's just the way of my people. The radio over there. The Oracle over here. I probably could use your help. Postage stamp. Tape. Scrap. Metal. Bachelor flat. If you are pleased with my services, I welcome you to to consider a donation. We oracles spent, depend solely on the goodwill of others. Perhaps you could donate any found items that burden you. When you have just too many, I guess, at once. Purging your inventory into, into oracles and whatnot actually might be really helpful. Speeder beeper. They're calling my speeder. These are too many spatulas. I got a sandwich. Two spatulas, two coins. Just just scrap metal. Hmm. The leaflet? Oh, only certain things can be donated. Can't donate the leaflet. He went flat. It's just, spatulas don't even count as metal. There you go, friend. May be blessed, may you be blessed on your journey. So we're, re we're not even reacting to the fact that apparently all humans are animals now, but nobody here is an animal, so immediately we had a huge backstory for all the animal people, but I'm the only animal person. What? This was supposed to be a control center for an interstellar beacon, but just a cheap noodle bar full of quirky robots. Hey, we may be cheap, but the food's good. You're definitely right about quirky bots, though. Welcome to Extra Bowl, the busiest noodle bar around. The mood's a bit stale now, since our jukebox here won't make a beep anymore. Ah, that's the thing I gotta fix. Anyway, if you need any help, ask me. I know everything about Salty Desert. Okay, we're here to fix the beacon array. It's controlled by the main computer. We fix the beacon, and we're going home. The main computer must be here somewhere. We're looking for a huge, sprawling machine. Be careful. Is the story that the most important computery thingy on this planet needed to be fixed, but took a hundred years for me to get here, so society collapsed into a weird cult? Because that seems to be what happened. These boxes look very suspicious. You should just leave them alone. A to do, ignore boxes. No, I don't want to ignore boxes. You're gonna make me ignore the boxes? I love boxes. It opens and closes the door over here. Why is everybody a computer face? Damn it, did I take a nap and miss out on the next stage of, of evolution? Classic me. Always doing that. I was getting kind of bored. Where is... Oh. Rumors. The jukebox here has some pretty bad, uh, rad tunes. Unless it's feeling moody. Sorry, I haven't been following the news lately. There's the jukebox. Carmazina's jukebox. If you're missing any items, just go outside and search through the nearby stashes. What? Chatterbox. So the world's full of, uh... Fruit logic. The world's full of, uh, stashes because those guys steal all the tools constantly, I guess. Something like tape could work. We're we just gonna try to tape it closed? Seems a little rude. Oh. Point's not doing so hot right now. Okay. Uh 
Oh, right. Other way around. Alright. Easy enough. That's a lot of hearts. How? My jukebox is back. Here, take this. Get your taste buds ready for the fireworks. Just have a seat over here. Any quest is better done on a full stomach, right? Dude, I eat so much, apparently. It's been... Oh, wait, no, that was yesterday. I was gonna say it's been two minutes. But that was... Wait, I literally, I literally slept. So, no. Rice bowl with be beef and onion. I want this. It's like gyudon. Oh, gyudon's so good. It's like beef, but a vegetable grown on a cow plant. You never had it? I skipped the first one on accident. Dude, gyudon... I haven't had gyudon in, like, a year. You must be from one of those far regions, right, honey? Oh, I have a note here that I should tell you that the restroom key is under the plant in the corner. Anyway. Beacon. You mean bacon? Sorry, we don't have any. There are rogues, pirates, traders, but I've never heard of a bacon keeper. Sure, love. Feel free to look around. Now that you've had a taste of our specialty, you should learn more about Salty Desert. There are many interesting places. Plenty of uh, traders and oracles around. If you're not sure where to find them, just ask me or any of the locals. That's it. Happy exploring. There's the plant in the corner. I got the restroom key. Is this the restroom? Is mayonnaise an instrument? Are these just two different bats? That's a... <laughs> Okay, one of these looks like a... Wait, no, is this a restroom? That looks like a kitchen. Or what a... Hydgepod. I guess Hydgepods just do everything. Just so I can see through the wall to see what is probably the kitchen. Skadoosh. What, are the... what is this place? The suspicious boxes? A loader? Like from Alien? Do you have a license for operating ancient heavy machinery? <laughs> oh, unlimited power. I can move the boxes now. They are an obstacle no more. That means I can, maybe I can get all the way to the other side. Okay, so I opened the door over there. So if I can go around this whole place, I can go over there and open the and move the other boxes. Probably. I just stole their loader. I'm gonna unsteal it in just a second. Just give me a second. Oh, please don't run anybody over. I don't want to be a murderer today. There are so many people. How was this street ever, ever empty when I got here? Now, you, you wait outside, heavy machinery. Go rest in the rain if there ever is any. I don't trust this staircase, but we need to find that main computer. Dark underground corridors like this always hide space vampires, mutated hedgehogs, or cyber moles. Consider yourself warned. We're gonna be fine, there's just scary boxes. That's like my favorite kind. Space worm, run, Vix! Oh, it's just a party costume. <sighs> Uh, the bots should put a sign to prevent frightening innocent trespassers. <laughs> He's glowing in the dark because they're all computer screen people. I, uh, I got kind of lost here. Thanks for showing me the way. I gotta run. Take this. Everyone, if you help anyone in any way, they just have to give you something on the spot. By law. And then if you pay, and then if you, usually it's a, it's a food voucher, and then if they, if they get food, it's also like an IOU to teach you a secret, which is so far just keys. Ugh. Look at all that dust. Don't touch anything. Oh. Well, that just went on its own. Oh, I'm trapped. I'm gonna need a vehicle, it seems. <gasps> Did I specifically put these boxes in the worst possible location to cause this problem for myself? Well, yuck. 
Anyway, I think we got the loop, more or less, of where this guy game is going. So this is neat. If you want, if you want to go on this chill adventure, just go check out the link in the description. It's already out. It came out in March, I think. Yeah. This is a uh, fix box. Thanks for watching, like always, guys. Thank you to the the, the uh, developers for sending me a code to preview their game. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, one second. We're back for a second because I got to show you the save screen. Look at the save screen. Look at this. Look at the save screen. They're little. There's little tapes. It's a little. It's a little cassette tape. I guess I slide it up here. Now there's a save. They're VHS saves, or VHS little cassettes, like in their little jewel cases and everything. Huh. That's just neat. All right. <laughs>